What is up, guys? You guys are the J Pictures, and today, oh, yeah, I'm Jim Riverford, by the way. <laughs> uh, but today, we're gonna be reacting to Words Without Knowledge and Wrath, which is on Ghost the Rapper's album, or I should say EP album, On the Rise. So, uh, this is gonna be some fucking pretty awesome shit. We've already listened to an LA, we've got, uh, well, one more video left because if you guys did not notice, I listened to two tracks and reacted two tracks in one fucking video. Especially with, uh, you know, albums this fucking special to me because Ghost is my fucking, you know, Ghost did me a solid and fucking was featured on my album. So, you know, thank you, Ghost, and I appreciate that shit. Like, that, his bars was fucking, like, pretty good. So, yeah. But, anyways, we're going to be reacting to Words Without Knowledge and Wrath. Let's start. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm done with all the beefs and the battles. I'll try to keep it brief and not babble. Mm. Something in the streets got me rattled. I'm living in between, so I straddle. Mm. And lately it seems like I'm chattel. I don't want to scream, I'm a nettle. I guess I'm a sheep to the cattle. Take a seat on this beat like a saddle. Mm. Let me explain some disturbing questions going on in my brain. If we were made to love, then why is there so much pain and so much hate? I guess I'm in no place to judge because I commit those sins the same way. <clears throat> I just gotta know, God, why'd you leave us in this place? Damn, on okay. This earth with the yearn I gotta know, God, why'd you leave us in this motherfucking place? That motherfucking no lyric was a fucking G, though. That That's a fucking good lyric. I'm gonna let you guys know. Ghost is one of those rappers who literally just like, he's like one of those beef rappers, but also one of those rappers who is an actual artist. He's an artist. He's not a rapper. He's an artist. Like, well, I mean, there he is. He's rapper, but he's in more of an artist than just a regular old fucking class rapper. Then for knowledge, but we can't even figure out why we're here. It's a problem, and we just kill each other off. In these wars, never stopping. Mm. Mm. I gotta know, I can't be quiet I gotta dig in the mind of the highest I gotta get to the gates and then scream Give us some answers or we gonna riot Don't try to tell me it's Adam and Eve And because of their sin, we're paying the prices That don't make sense, we're seeing the innocent die With no fucking sin or no vices mm. children starving to death I'm begging you to just stop this mess I'm not perfect, I'm far from the best But I can't just watch this darkness progress Give me an answer, give me a sign Just give me something before I lose my mind I don't mm. know so I come to you in these fucked up times. 9-11, I cry to heaven. Damn. Heaven and hell will provide a blessing. Why does this shit even have to happen? 3,000 lives that day were rested. Sandy... Okay, okay, so he's basically talking about words without knowledge. Basically, he's talking about what the fuck is going on. Like, why? Like, why is... You have knowledge, but it's, like, more than... It's hard to explain, but everyone's had this fucking thing. Like, what the fuck was going on through, like... God's eyes, or what was going on through his brain when he allowed this shit to happen. Why? Why? And that's basically a good explanation of what the fuck he's talking about. Book that comes to mind, and now it's got me thinking about Columbine, and I think about mm. all those lovely lives that were left to die, and now the pain combined, and the aftermath, and now after class, you better catch your breath, don't know who's blasting next, so you say a prayer, but it don't even matter, because I guess God don't hear you asking him. Damn. You. Yeah, we need a friend, but a savior too. Hear my cries and pray to you. Before the next blow, please save us soon. Hmm. Before the next school shooting. Before the next black man dies. Ah, damn, that shit. That's one of that's that gave me Dax vibes, bro. That literally gave me Dax vibes. Alright, now we're on to Wrath. Seriously good. Sing it, okay. Mm. Yeah, y'all haven't seen the best of me On this mic I killed, it's a necessity 
Yeah, there you go. You got it. You got it. Mm. That was a fucking lyric sets. That was a fucking masterpiece. Ooh. So I'm guessing this song is just talking about like his anger. Just like, get the fuck off me, bro. Get the fuck off me. Like, get off of me, bro. I'm gonna fucking punch you. Like, you want some fight? Like, that's the type of song. It is. Feel my wrath, yeah. Feel my wrath, yeah. I get the fucking chorus. Damn, okay. Mmm. Throwing some shots at some motherfuckers who want the, some beef, bro. Damn, bro. Damn. Boys, we got something on our case right now. Mmm. Ghost talking some fucking. He talking some fire. <laughs> mm. Love how it went into the fucking the the, the fucking title. Oof. That was just like, you know what, guess what? I'm gonna motherfucking feel, you're gonna feel my wrath because of the fact that, like, you were a fucking a retard who tried to be able to cope against me, but now I'm gonna motherfucking, you're gonna fucking feel my wrath because I do not get fucked with people. And I loved how he just let the fucking beep go roll, like, beep. Let me miss such at the beep. Beep. But, yeah, guys, that was fucking awesome, bro. That that was words without knowledge and wrath, by Ghost the rapper. It was both my react. Those were both my reactions to both tracks. And Ghost man, I've already got some of your tracks down onto Spotify, saved on my personal playlist, and on my rap playlist. So yeah. And I don't put my I don't put people on my personal playlist, and unless I think them are I think they're a real fucking artist, like John Legend, fucking. All these different type of rappers and all these different type of choruses and country singers and people. Like, who knows? If Ghost does a fucking country album, bruh, that would be fucking lit. I know I'm going to be doing a country album. That's what I'm trying right now, to be able to get that country voice. Like, and every single night and every single day, I'll be trying to go down, sing another lace. Like, I don't know, something kind of like that. But more like aggressive. More like a, more like a. More like a tune, but that's besides the point. <laughs> but yeah, you guys at the Jeep Pictures, I'm Jeremy Rufford. I will see you guys later. Ram the Near America's Dreams. Salute the, uh, I salute you guys <laughs> out. Uh, be always, always be a slum. So yeah, don't, don't, don't trip out.